Hey guys and welcome to 7 Incredible Metal Detector Discoveries. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. Number 7 Uncovering Pirate Treasure, 1952 Massachusetts-based treasure hunter Edward Rowe Snow, on a visit to a small island off the coast of Nova Scotia, used a metal detector and old charts to find eight 18th century Spanish doubloons and part of a skeleton that was still holding the coins in its hand. The treasure was believed to have come from a Spanish galleon captured by pirates in 1725. Number 6 Live Ammo Near the Schoolyard, 1976 In Alabama, metal detecting enthusiast James Garrigues, who was searching near a middle school for old coins, found a .75mm tank shell, which officials believed may have been a World War II souvenir. The shell was successfully removed by a military demolition crew. Number 5 Underground Stolen Money, 1946 Using a mine detector borrowed from the US Army, postal inspectors uncovered $153,150 buried in the backyard of a deceased postal employee who had stolen the money years before. The loot had been stashed in jars and cans inside a length of stovepipe and buried 9 feet below the surface. Number 4 Ford Model T, 1966 In Detroit, a group of people, including a man wielding a metal detector, unearthed what appeared to be a Model T Ford that a man had buried in his backyard back in 1926 to preserve it for posterity. Number 3 High School Lost and Found, 1974 In Florida, a metal detector enthusiast, Roy Lloyd, found a 1926 high school class ring with the initials MB in four inches of lake bottom sun. He eventually located the ring's owner, Miles Baker, who had lost it 48 years before at the city's pier. Number 2 Battle Wounds, 1984 An archaeology volunteer wielding a metal detector found a finger bone wearing a ring at Little Bighorn, where Lieutenant Colonel George Custer's troops were wiped out by the Sioux in 1876. Number 1 Golden Chalice 2008 When Mike DeMar was diving off the coast of Key West in 2008, he had thought he'd come across some trash, but not even close. Initially, he believed it was a beer can. Upon close inspection, it turned out to be a golden chalice. The gold, nearly a pound of it, was in the form of a 385-year-old chalice from the Santa Margarita a ship that sank in 1622. It was valued at about one million dollars. That concludes today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to turn notifications on and like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in another video.